everyone it's Danny. welcome back to my channel I have a little unboxing slash haul for you guys today this literally just arrived on my doorstep which is a surprise considering it is a Saturday morning so it's about 10 30 um, I wasn't expecting this today I actually wasn't expecting it till halfway through next week but it's here so this is my order from scrap boutique when I was recovering from my surgery, I had a late night. I'd had some painkillers. I was browsing and I went into the clearance section. As you guys know, it's my favorite thing to do is shop clearance sections. And yeah, they had a bunch of stuff really, really reduced. So I kind of went a little bit to town. There's a pretty hefty package here. Seems to be about an inch of paper. So I'm a little concerned about that. I don't remember ordering that much paper, although I think maybe there's a paper pad in here. So that would explain a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a share. A lot of this is probably not available anymore. It's going to be older stuff. But I know a lot of you guys also like to shop your stash. And you guys might find some things in the clearance section as well. I know if you're in the States, Tuesday morning stocks a lot of older stuff. So I have my cup of tea here ready to go. So I haven't even unwrapped the paper yet, as you guys can see. They, I think every order comes with a Freddo. I don't know if it's over a certain dollar amount spent. I don't know. I've always gotten a Freddo. Um, I think it's a cute addition. I don't know if these go into overseas orders. Probably not. So they are based in Australia too, in case you're wondering. Okay, so I just had to cut cut out me um, opening up at the end there because I have my invoice sitting on top and it has my address and everything on there. So I've got it off to the side here. I do usually say how much items are if I can. If I have the receipt next to me, I'll tell you how much everything costs. Uh, I usually forget halfway through though, so sorry. <laughs> That's probably going to happen again. <laughs> I also have the kids and the husband home. It's like I said, it's Saturday. All right. Oh, so many things I can't even remember. Oh, I, oh. I forgot most of these. Oh, oh, yay. I'm very, very excited about a lot of this is very summery, which is amazing because even though we're going out of summer here in Australia, everywhere else is coming into summer. So I know all the summer scrapping series, um, like I know Virginia just released a bunch of summer cut files and like everyone's going to be scrapping the summer photos. So I'm, I'm keen to join in the fun. On the top, we have a couple of sets of thickers. We have a couple of sticker books, some ephemera, some more thickers, some chip. Oh, exciting. I don't even remember ordering that. Some more stickers. Okay, so we've got heaps of stickers and stuff. And then, oh, a lot of paper. Oh, dear. Oh, I've ordered a lot of paper. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I have the Pebbles Summertime Tiny Stickers. Oh, I don't remember any of these. <laughs> I must have been out of it. It's all really pretty. I don't have any of it, so, you know, it's fine. And it was super cheap. So these tiny stickers, there's 94 apparently. So I think it's just the two sheets. All cute little summer. They're very cartoony. Um, little kids. A little flip-flop suns with happy faces, sailboats, and things like that. You know, when I made sandcastles. Very beachy. I'm definitely, definitely going to get a bit of use out of this. I have a lot of unscrapped beach slash summer photos. Where I live in Australia, especially um, up north here in Queensland where I am, it's summer probably nine months out of the year, realistically. It's very, very warm most of the year. So we do have a lot of summery photos. This is the matching ephemera. These top ones are glittery by the looks of it. Oh no, not all of them, just some of them. Yeah, and this seashell is glittery as well. Okay, so I have glare from my window and from my light. <laughs> Sorry, there's not a lot I can do about that, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're cute. I don't like this big, thick white border. I'm probably going to have to fussy cut a lot of these out, especially as some of them have it, some of them don't. That's really annoying. But it looks like there's lots of cute little bits and pieces. Lots of these cartoony mermaids are really good for kids' pages. And I have a lot of kids' photos, so that's good. Okay, so there's 40 in there. That's really cute. So the stickers were $2.60. Super cheap for a name brand thing. And then the die cuts were $3.18. So, you know, really cheap. Cardstock stickers, $2.60 as well. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of stickers, you know, six by 12 double-sided. Um, cardstock, that, these have glitter on them too, on the mermaid's tails and on some of the flowers in this bottle. Things like that, really cute, little lemons. 
flamingo floaties of this little crab yeah lots of really cute things on here very very stylized cartoonish uh, really cute for kids pages that's what pebbles is known for i think uh, i feel like they have a lot of kind of kid centric collections so really like the colors they're bright and happy but not too full on there's a lot of pastels in there as well um, so I, I'm really liking the colors in this and I like that they put a few florals in as well because florals are just really easy to use to fill in any gaps. This is another, another, this is my first Distress Oxide spray. I have some of the ink pads. I really love them, um, but I just wanted something that I could just sort of splatter straight out the, straight out of the tube. So I use splatters a lot, you guys know. And I actually use my ink pads to splatter more than I use them for anything else. So Distress Oxide Spray in Spun Sugar. I just like the, the light pink is probably realistically going to be the color I use the most. I use gold and white the most at the moment. Um, so this will just go in next to them and I'll probably use it just as much as those. I really, really love the um, Oxide inks. So I feel like this is going to perform pretty well. And that was full price. So that was $10.00. Uh, which I think is pretty standard for Australia. I got the Amy Tan embossed puffy stickers. These are 260. Well, they were 260 <laughs> on clearance. So these are from the Stay Sweet collection, and I, it seems I got the paper pad as well from that. So these are really cute. I love this little hedgehog. The avocado is a bit strange. I only bought these because they were on such clearance. Obviously, I do actually remember adding these now. I like the bicycle and the house, um, the little popsicle, the avocado. This is going to be a challenge. I might have to do a layout about avocado toast or something. <laughs> Next, I got the Sunny Days stickers. I never actually grabbed these when I got the Sunny Days collection. I got the six by eight paper pad, cardstock stickers, the ephemera. Anyhow, I didn't get a lot of it, um, but I, I fussy cut one of the six by eight paper pattern papers <laughs> that has all these icons on it. And I'm, I've been using it a lot. So I thought I may as well just get the stickers because I'm going to use them and I use stickers quite a lot. And even if I don't use them in my layouts, uh, they're really good to use in traveler's notebooks because they're flat so first page i mean you guys have all seen this already but just a little bitchy bits these florally bits and pieces these phrases these are kind of like a translucent vellumy sticker by the looks there's a lot in here how many sheets eight sheets wow okay labels these clear as well see i don't i don't understand why people do labels on a clear and it's not proper clear it's kind of like a a translucent sticker but still i don't want stuff to show through from the back when i'm gonna write on here it doesn't make sense anyway enough from my ranting i love the sheet of little words bits and pieces teeny tiny sprinkly bits oh, i love these they're so cute i love these fruit <laughs> little ice creams oh these are really cute it's two sheets of those apparently okay this is going to be a challenge to use Though I could layer it under a photo, I suppose. These little birds are really sweet in the phrases. And then this big. Now that's one single sticker. Yeah, what is that for? Actually, that'd be really nice in a travel's, traveler's notebook, probably. These little birds are really sweet as well. Okay. So that one was marked down to $5.57, which is really cheap. So I've just rearranged these so that I could find these stickers that went with the Amy Tan, the Stay Sweet collection, just because that's how my brain works. So they are not so much a, like an alpha thicker, they're more a phrase thicker with some icons thrown in. So just dimensional up on foam icons, which is handy. There's that avocado again. <sighs> Going to make my life difficult, especially as it's exactly the same orientation. If it was kind of facing the other way, like mirrored, maybe I could get two on a layout, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that but anyhow let's move on i really like some of these phrases i, I like the florals the big camera little hedgehog is really sweet so most of these are super usable lots of nice big titles this i can definitely use it's cute so this was three dollars 18 uh, full price stickers are around ten dollars depending where you buy them from here in australia so um yeah whenever i see stickers on sale i grab them I think these Shine On ones are from an Amy Tan collection as well, but they are from Sunshine and Good Times. So they were the same price, $3.18. A bargain. I use gold a lot. I find it really easy to use. They're quite a large alpha, but they're this gold, really chunky glitter. There's lots on there. There's no numbers, so you get all alphas, which is nice. 
Next is the wonderful Thickers, and I think these, they're definitely from a Maggie Holmes collection, but is it Willow Lane? So these were, even though it's got it $7.95, but again, these were $3.18, which is amazing for crepe paper. I love this collection. I actually don't have any of it, but I think when this was released, I wasn't really scrapbooking at the moment. So I don't, I didn't grab any of it, but it's, um, it's really pretty. So I just grabbed these. There's lots of usable titles in there and these sort of little banner phrases. I love all these hearts and stars in that same, very similar glitter to this one. Really, really sweet, really cute. Um, those kind of colors I like. I got some more of the all heart uh, thickers because they were marked down on clearance and I've, I've already got these, but um, I really like them. I like the color. I love the way they smell. I know that sounds crazy, but they, they smell like, I know it's just, it's plastic, but they smell like some kind of sweet, some kind of lolly that reminds me of my childhood and I can't think what it is, but it's a, yeah, I just really love the smell of them. It sounds crazy. I've never said that about any other thicker, just these ones. So yeah, that's those. <laughs> and then I got the Pink Fresh Office Hours chipboard. Um, this is the only Pink Fresh thing I got. <laughs> Very strange. Um, I think I just saw chipboard and two dollar sixty and clicked add to cart because how can you go past? How can you go past that? Um, also, I, I really struggle to buy chipboard from overseas because it bumps up my shipping quite a lot because it's you know it's a heavy thing. So yeah, so I tend to grab this from Aussie shops when I see it. Just lots of stationary bits and pieces, you know, office hours. I mean, if you're a crafter, this is, you know, really usable. And also, you know, I have a school age child, so yeah, really usable for me. All right, so that's all the bits and pieces. Everything else is paper. So there's a, there's a, there's a stack of that there. Um, one of them is a paper pad though, so hopefully this won't take too long. Was $9.58, so less than $10 for a paper pad is really good for Australia. It's not super up my alley. A lot of the colors are a little bit bright. Uh, the patterns are very busy, but I figured I could, I could use it. Uh, I'm sure there are ways I can use it. It's very summery. Like I said, I'm getting, um, I'm ramping up to scrap a lot of summer photos. So let's just flip through shall we i don't know if these have repeats are they are they double yeah it looks like they're two of each so there's nice pretty blue floral a cut apart i really like that i like the colors in that i love these bikes uh, we go biking quite a bit well we don't my son bikes and we walk but you know we do that a lot so i have quite a few bike pictures i really like this actually it's pretty again very busy but i can make it work little fruits Black and white cameras, very usable, lemons, quite like that actually, little ice creams. Or you could fussy cut these out if you were so inclined. Black and white leaf, bananas, that's a little weird but um, I do like the pink. <laughs> you can definitely use these as mats, I really like that one. Those pretty teal floral, limes, I actually don't mind that. <laughs> oh I like that one. Very busy still, but I like it. Another cut apart. Oh, that's cute. I like the journaling spots. Let me. Oh, more avocados. Oh, I just. Bikes are really sweet. Oh, I like that stripe. Really like that. Oh, that's pretty too. That's interesting. More limes. Oh, a whole page of edge jobs. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're cute. I'll have to use those somewhere. Oh, some of them have got little glasses on. Oh, that cracks me up. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> More lemon and lime slices. Little houses. Little kind of paintbrushy one. Paint stroke one, rather. Glasses. Oh, fish. Oh, I have an idea for fussy cutting this one. And then we're back to doubles. So here we go. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. Mm, I'm running out of space to put things. Okay, and now we have the stack of single papers. Oh, Cartabella. I got some Cartabella stuff. I love this paper. So nice. All right. Oh, I have so much. Oh, it's not that much, actually. A lot of this is really thick paper. Okay, so all the Cartabella papers were 60 cents each by the look of it. So this is pack your bags, border strips. So I think it's meant to be a globe, but it reminds me of a disco ball. 
<laughs> oh dear. That'd be a cool background though. And then you have obviously the border strips. I really like these tags. I'll cut those out. And these little snow globes are really cute. This one is, so they had quite a few of these um, from Pack Your Bags on sale, which kind of made me giggle, I remember. Because I made a comment recently about, I think it might have been in a live video, about how no one's going to be releasing <laughs> travel thing collections for a while because no one's gone. <laughs> no one's gone anywhere. Uh, so that just kind of made me giggle that these were on clearance. But I do have quite a few older um, holiday photos that I need to get scrapped. So uh, this is Head in the Clouds. I find out nice reds really difficult to find in scrapbooking, so I don't know what's with that. Um, but I really like that uh, red colour. And this side is nice too, but I feel like I'll probably use the other side. We'll see. And then I got a cut apart, which is a journaling card. So that's the reverse side. Hurts my eyes. It's just little chevrons. And then your journaling card. So you've got five four by sixes and then some little two by twos down the bottom here. I really like the colors in this collection. I have to say this has never actually come on my radar, but I like the papers I got. This is the four by four journaling card sheet. So um, obviously I really like this pink side. And then the other side is these little four by fours. These are really cute. None of them are really telling me I have to use them though, which is good because I think I really like this side. So yeah, I'm happy about that. This is the Travel the World. I really like this map. And we are on there. Australia is on there. Thank you. Thank you for not leaving us out. <laughs> These colors. Oh, this is so pretty. This would be so good for a holiday album for like the opening page. Just a title across it or something. Really pretty. I like that. And then the other side is these globes. This is nice too, but I have to say I prefer this side. Okay, so it appears that I have repurchased the entire Bohemian Dream paper collection <laughs> from Coco Vanilla Studio. I actually don't have a lot of uh, Bohemian Dream paper left and it is a beautiful collection it's really really pretty so I'm actually really pleased to have these so these were all 70 cents reduced which is an awesome bargain for cocoa vanilla stuff so we have wild and free beautiful blue ombre it's kind of it's got like a watercolor paper effect in the background too really really cool and then this spot on the other side kaleidoscope I adore this paper I love this this side the other side's nice, but I, I always use this side because I couldn't possibly use the other side and not use this side. It's so, so pretty. I love a wood grain. I know it's really basic. I just, I really like this wood grain in particular. So that's Kaleidoscope. That's a reverse side. Like you guys know, this is not me. This is this bright, bright, bright <laughs> colors. I just, yeah, this, this has my heart. This is Dreamer, very similar to the blue one, but purple. I love these as background papers. They're just perfect. So pretty. And then the reverse is this navy and white, very watercolory stripe. Again, this is really, really nice. This one is Flower Child. I love this stripe as a background too. I just, I love all the colors in this collection. That's the other side, very busy floral. This one is a beautiful mess. The white and navy geometric diamond print on that side. And then the other side is it's not journal cards because there's no no phrases or anything. They're just uh, pocket size cards, some four by six and lots of three by fours, but they're just really nice for photo layering and for kind of when I do project life and I have to mat uh, a photo because it's a little bit small for the pocket. I really, yeah, I really love all these patterns. These are actually really good for backing cut files as well. This is abundant, beautiful background paper, really pretty navy blue with white spots. And the reverse side is this amazing floral. This one is abstract. It's a ombre purple with a mandala in the background. I adore this paper. It's so pretty. And the other side is kind of like a fabric-y, sketchy, abstract. I'm not such a fan of this. I love this side. Okay, that's all of the Cocoa Vanilla ones. Then we have some Echo Park. So this is... Hello Easter. So I just got three papers from this one. I actually don't have a single Easter collection in my stash. Can you believe that? Definitely got this one for this plaid. It is so pretty. So this is called Easter Floral. I just, that has my heart. If I could have a dress in this, I would be the happiest person alive. Love that. And that's the other side. Doesn't do anything for me whatsoever. <laughs> this is the spring plaid again. 
you know, my favorite color is the pink and this turquoise mint. I apologize if you can hear that dog. That's not my dog's, it's the neighbor's dog. It barks constantly. And once it starts barking, it doesn't stop for hours. So, and it's, it's during the week and on the weekend. So I don't know that, that there's ever anyone at that house. I think it's left on its own a lot. So, sorry, anyway, turquoise minty background. And I really like this plaid as well. And then we have this one, which is these little tone on tone bunnies. How cute is this? Little bunnies, super sweet. And then this side's cut apart, so it's just four by fours. These are all really quite sweet as well. Right, went to some pebble stuff here. So this, this is all O Summertime, and these were all 60 cents. This paper is the O Summertime paper. It's a cut apart on this side, all four by three. Like all those a lot. All right, and then the other side is a text. Black on white, can always use these. They're very, very versatile. And one thing I just want to say that I love about Pebbles collections is they do a full size branding strip at the bottom. So I appreciate that. And that rainbow is so, so cool. All right. This is Blossoms. It's obviously a floral. Very busy. Lots going on there. And then the other side is my favorite. <laughs> it's a blush pink with little daisies all over it. And then another full branding strip. Love that one. This is Summer Bouquet. Again, lots of florals. Probably more of a headache than it's worth fussy cutting those out. And then a, a white and rainbow polka dot. And then this is the last one. It's Ball Toss. It's beach balls, obviously. Um, this side's cute, but I really like the rainbow. It's very primary, I know. It's a bit it's a bit much for me, probably, but I'll just use little pops of this, um, photo mats and things like that. Then I have a bunch of simple stories papers. There are a few different collections in here, I think. This is the Dream Big collection. A super cute paper. It's a cream base, which I know a lot of people <laughs> don't love. Um, I don't mind it. And I also don't mind mixing white and cream. I'm not fussy about that. It's kind of scripty font. And then uh, all the loops on the letters are filled in with color, which I think is a really sweet little touch. Okay, that's the B side. Floral's really pretty. From the same collection, this is the Elements 4x6 cut apart. This is really sweet. That's going on a page with my daughter. Dream big and add a little magic. I really like that one. This mermaid's pretty cute too. And then the reverse is, oh, I really like that. So maybe, maybe I won't use the other, the other side. Should have bought two of this one because I, I like those cut aparts, but I really like this soft mint background with a little starburst all over it. Okay, this is the Oh Baby collection. Again, 56 cents. I just want to encourage you guys, if you see stuff like this on clearance, not to just scroll past because it's a baby collection and you don't have any baby photos to scrap. Um, I probably won't use any of these for baby albums. They're just really quite versatile patterns and colors. So just something to keep in mind. So this is the bundle of joy paper. This side is rulers. Yeah, I just really love the colors. I love that there's some wood grain and very creamy, milky pastel colors. Just right up my alley. This is a beautiful background paper. Really pretty, I love these pastel dots. This is Sweet Dreams, a very pretty pastel, soft, creamy pastel floral. But I like this side, just a soft blue with a cream spot all over it. Perfect for a pattern paper background. This one is Precious, really sweet blue with little butterflies all over it, really cute to fussy cut. But this is my favorite, a wood grain. <laughs> Wood grain stripe with a cream. Really like that. All right, this one's from the Romance Collection. I think this is the only one I got from that collection. This is a four by four cut apart sheet. Love this one. Love the coffee. Oh, I think it's meant to be hot chocolate actually, but um, I really like that. This one, this one. So this is obviously a Valentine's Day themed collection. But I really like these cut aparts and I also really like this mint and cream. Ah, uh, I want to say mint and cream, but it's actually tone on tone, mint. Now everything else is from Sunshine and Blue Skies collection, I believe. So again, very summery, but there's a lot of navy in this and coral, which yeah, I really like that color combination. So this is the three by four elements sheet, pretty soft blue and floral on the front. And then the cut aparts on this side. So I'm really loving the pops of navy in with the brighter colors. This is lovely. Yeah, really liking this color palette. It's a little bit different for a summer collection. This one is Let's Escape. What a beautiful background, navy and slightly lighter blue polka dot. Really, really pretty. And then the other side is a very busy floral, but I love, I just love this color palette. It's so pretty. I love peaches and corals. 
especially with navy blue and that pop of yellow adds a little bit of lightness paradise found uh, this reminds me of an ice cream cone like a waffle cone love that for a background it's hurting my eyes on the camera but in real life it's not too bad and then this side is um, just a bunch of those like monstera leaves um, palm leaves uh, i could take a leave this i really like the other side probably use it for a background and this one is sun-kissed so a bright yellow little waves all over i really love this paper you can definitely see me using this for a background and the other side is a really pretty ombre how nice is that just reminds me of the sunset again a really nice background paper so it's going to be a toss-up which side i use so that is everything from me today i really hope you enjoyed this little haul in case you're wondering my total with shipping was 89 dollars and shipping was 16.95 and that's a really good price for everything i got like that is that is really cheap usually this will be upwards of 200 dollars i'm really really pleased with this um, everything shipped really quickly um the things that were out of stock was refunded immediately everything's in beautiful condition not sponsored by the way just one of my favorite shops to shop online at all right that's all from me thank you for joining me i will see you next time bye guys Mama. Yes, my darling. I eat my own. Good way. job. Is Violet eating her hot cross bun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you even know? Are you just saying yes because I asked you a question. Why it's all covered in crumbs. Yeah, it is all covered in crumbs. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing's in order. I, I ordered. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Are you? Okay. Focus camera. Hey Google, turn on the study. Hey Google, turn on the study. Okay, this is kind of weird, but does anyone else see a face in that pineapple? It's two flowers and two leaves, but it looks like eyes and a frowny face. <laughs> I can't unsee it now. <laughs> Gosh, I'm weird sometimes. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I, why did I get two of those? That's... Karen, are you in the fridge? Oh, jeez, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I totally missed the bag. <laughs> Just slid it straight in that thing. <laughs> why are we the bag seal up? Oh, it's... Right, where are we? Okay, so I've just switched these around. So these are the Amy Tan ones that go with the, uh, ooh, I've forgotten the name of the collection already. Oh, it doesn't say on there. Oh, far out, man. Stay sweet. What's the collect? Why is the name of the collection not on anything? Am I just blind? No, it's not there. Stay sweet, right? This is just, I shouldn't be filming this right now. So this was $3.18, which is a bargain you considering. Mom, they no, I'm not making a hot popcorn right now. Later, okay? Uh, quite a large elf here. Which is... <sighs> so, 70... <sighs> Hello. Hi. I just realised how... shanky that fingernail is awesome. Tea is cold, yay. Okay. All right, let's go teal. Violet, can you not play guitar in the room while I'm filming? Violet, Violet, Violet. No. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Can you wait 10 minutes, please? How did you get those chips? Did you climb up in the top of the pantry? <laughs> That's dangerous. Can I have a chicken? Oh, it sounds like the husband just got out of bed. At 11.15. Lucky for some. The super cute, cute, super cute. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this whole video is me just being really strange.